Hey everyone, so I just talked about some of the late signings um, yesterday and early this morning um, that have taken place and there's really not much left on the free agent market at this point. Um, most, most players who have a chance to be on an NHL roster have signed, but there are still some that haven't, Pat Maroon being the biggest one. So let's talk about the 10 best free agents who are still available as of my recording of this again these guys could sign at any time so this this video could become outdated very quickly but as of my recording of this about 10 o'clock on Monday morning these are the 10 uh, these are the 10 best players still available before we get to the list if you're not yet a subscriber to this channel please hit that subscribe button um, if you're a fan of hockey there is something here for everyone um, whether you just like a certain team or you follow the league as a whole, there are videos here for you. So please hit that subscribe button. Now, to, before I get into the list, I am not putting Joe Thornton or Rick Nash on this list. Joe Thornton is going to go back to San Jose. Um, now, San Jose was waiting on John Tavares' decision before they made that move because obviously if Tavares went to San Jose, they weren't going to re-sign Thornton. Tavares is in Toronto, so San Jose is going to probably, almost guaranteed, re-sign Joe Thornton for, uh, prob I would assume, at his age of one year deal. And Rick Nash may not even play next year. He is seriously contemplating retirement. Um, he's foregone the, the July 1st free agency. He said he's going to wait and see if he even wants to play. I would not at all be surprised if Rick Nash retires and doesn't play next year. So I'm not even going to bother putting him on this list because the more that time goes on, the more I really think he might retire. All right, list time. Here are my picks for the 10 best remaining free agents on the market. Number one is obviously Pat Maroon. Maroon is a solid player. He's can play on the second or third line. Um, he can score 20 goals if if he's put in the right situation. Um, real really big power forward. He can hit and fight as well. Um, he's going to be a solid pickup for for some team. Um, he has offers on the table, so it's not like no one wants Maroon. He has offers. He just. Um, He's just waiting it out and really taking his time and making this decision and where he's going to go. Next up, um, Calvin DeHaan. He is pro he's probably the best defenseman. He is the best defenseman still available coming from the New York Islanders. Um, the fact that DeHaan is the best defenseman available really shows that um, there's really not much left on the market. And uh, DeHaan is a bottom pair defenseman. He's really nothing spectacular. He's a solid guy to have as your as a five or a six, but he's really not more than that. So um, I I assume that he, I assume that all these guys end up on a team. All these guys are certainly good enough to to get on a team and play somewhere in the league. Um, it's just about finding the right deal and the right fit. Um, Dan Hamhuis, he's he yes he's older, but he can still be a very serviceable bottom pair defenseman at this point, and he's a, he can be a veteran in the locker room, a solidifying force back there. Um, I think if uh, I think he is absolutely gonna gonna help a team and make them better this year. Um, it's just he he's in no rush. He's he's older now in his mid thirties. Um, he's He's going to find work, even if even if he doesn't sign until we get into training camp. He might just go in around training camp and start with a new team then. He does not have to sign right now. Robin Lehner. Robin Lehner, I think, is the best goaltender still available. Um, there's really not much out there for goalies. Um, I've been trashing Lehner a lot, talking about Buffalo. But that's because he is not a good starting goaltender. But obviously, he's not going to be a starting goaltender at this point. I think Robin Lehner could be a very effective backup and be a very good backup. I just wouldn't want him playing, you know, 60 games a year. But if you give him 25 as a backup goalie, I think he can do fine in that situation. So I expect a team to go after Lehner. Um, 
the big the big team that really needs a, a backup goaltender left is um, Winnipeg. I don't think Laurent Brassois is going to cut it as your NHL backup goalie. So um, I think Winnipeg could end up going after Lehner and bring him in to back up Connor Hellebuck because obviously Steve Mason is gone and Michael Hutchinson is gone. So I, if I were Winnipeg, I would bring in Lehner as the backup and then have Brassois as your, your organizational third um, third goaltender, have him playing in the minors and then get called up if, some, if an injury happens. Brian Gibbons. Brian Gibbons had a really good year in New Jersey last year. Um, I think he did enough last season to earn himself a, probably a one-year deal somewhere as a extra forward or as a bottom six forward. Um, he, he's not somebody who's probably going to play every night, but he is someone who can give you some offense from your bottom six and be a, a quality player um, when, when he gets a chance to. Alexi Emelin, um, he is coming out of Nashville. Um, he had, he's a he's a bottom he's another bottom pair defenseman. Um, he, but he he's physical and he can he's good defensively. He's not going to give you much for offense, but he can be definitely be an effective bottom pair defenseman. Certainly would be a very good seventh defenseman. I certainly expect him to sign somewhere in pro, in play next season. Um, Dylan DeMello coming out of San Jose. Um, he's another guy. He's a bottom pair defenseman, but he can be a good bottom pair defenseman. So I certainly expect him to sign. Um, Carrie Lettinen, really the only other notable goaltender still available. Um, Lettinen, obviously, has his career has gone down the toilet in Dallas. Um, the last few years have been really, really bad. Um, I don't know if he gets signed. Team, there's really not much out there as far as need for backup goaltender. Winnipeg is really the only glaring one who needs a backup goalie. If I were Winnipeg, I would go with Laner well before I go with Lettinen. So Lettinen might end up out of the league given his age and how the last few years in Dallas have gone. So it could be retirement or off to Europe for Kerry Lettinen. Christian Follin, another depth defenseman. He was in LA last year. Um, He's just you. You need depth on the back end because you know you're gonna have injuries throughout the year. Um, so he can come in and be a seventh or eighth defenseman and help a team that way. And lastly, number ten, Derek Grant, depth forward, probably not an everyday NHL player, but somebody who you can call up if so. If there's an injury, he can play in the bottom six, um, and he could be an extra forward if need be. So. I expect most of these guys to all get contracts, if not all of them. Lettinen, as far as who's most likely not to get signed, it's Kerry Lettinen, just because the need isn't there and he's been really, really bad. Um, the rest of these guys, I think, could add a lot of organizational depth and really help a team that way. And then when you get up here, guys like Laner, Hamhus, Dehan, and Maroon, they, they're all... Ability is not why they're not signed yet. Um, they're, they're all going to step in and, and be on a team and really help a team. Especially Maroon and DeHaan. They, they should be everyday players, without a doubt. Hamhuis as well. At, even though he's a little bit older, he's still a quality bottom pair defenseman. So those are the 10 best um, free agents still available, uh, according to me. Uh, let me know what you think of the list below. Did I forget anyone? Did I leave anyone out? Um... Is the order wrong? Because I did do that in order. Um, just let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. All those links are in the description below. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.